Are you wanting to include the English country cottage style in your own home? Today, we will create the backdrop for a British country inspired guest bedroom with classic English rose wallpaper and some thrifted and antique lighting. friends and welcome! If this is your first visit, my name is Rachel from the blog StoneCottageHome.com where we cultivate the art of home. This is episode 3 in our series of the English Country Cottage Bedroom Remodel. Today we will install the classic English rose wallpaper and a mixture of vintage and antique lighting. I am very excited! This backdrop will set the stage for the English country cottage style as we layer in antique furnishings and thrifted home decor. For the main lighting in the bedroom, I have found a lovely sparkly antique I can hardly wait to show you. So come along as we get started installing this wallpaper. To begin, Matt marks a straight line using his level. Then. We line up the sheets of wallpaper in the order they will be hung according to how the pattern repeat will match on the seams. Matt applies wallpaper paste and the first sheet goes up. Having the first sheet perfectly straight is important since the following sheets will line up against it. Here you see Matt matching the pattern across the seam. Often this way there is a little bit of extra to trim off top and bottom to ensure that the pattern will flow seamlessly from one end of the wall to the other. While Matt applies the next sheet, I continue smoothing out the wrinkles and bubbles. Once each panel is smooth, I go over with a sponge and wipe off the extra paste. In the original floor plan for this house, a set of double French doors was in the middle of this wall. So the sheetrock has a bit of a dome to it, giving us a little struggle in getting these two panels smooth. Last panel and the holes are cut for the sconces to go in. This is where the magic starts to happen and I get so excited. I love these lamps. I love how the heads are adjustable and they have the quaint little pull chain. One splendid day, I was out antiquing with Matt and his mom and I saw a gorgeous French chandelier. It was brass with dainty little crystals. Let me show you. Isn't that wonderful? Even the ceiling rosette has beautiful patina. 
And you may notice that some of these sockets are rather scorched and some of them even cracked. But fortunately, I have found a source to replace those. I can hardly wait to see this beautiful chandelier just floating from that ceiling medallion that we installed in our last edition. The chandelier came with mismatched bulbs and burnt out sockets, so now it is time to replace those. ChandelierSupply.com was a great source for these realistic looking socket covers. They are a mixture of real beeswax with poly, so you have that old looking, textured, hand dripped candles, but they aren't going to melt from the heat of the bulbs. Taking the extra step to get matching bulbs and replace the socket covers was well worth it. This gorgeous chandelier is one of the main features in the room and these little details do help make the difference. This pretty little chandelier is ready for her new home. Now for some before and after pictures. Wasn't that fun? In our next visit, let's go treasure hunting. I will take you along as we go antiquing and thrifting for furnishings and home decor. Then we will dive into some DIY with antique gold paint. And finally, we will hang the gallery wall. If you enjoyed your visit today, subscribe to the Stone Cottage Home family and if you found your visit to be helpful and inspiring, please leave it your thumbs up so I know to plan more visits for you like this one. Until next time, take care.